The movie starts at a Los Angeles airport, where flight attendants Jenny and Paula are getting ready for their next trip. They chat with Captain Forrest and his co-pilot, Wilsey, mentioning that the flight will be less crowded due to the approaching thunderstorms. Wilsey takes some medicine because he's not feeling well. Next, they meet the passengers for the night. There's George, a teenager who likes to fly alone and doesn't want to be babied. Bev is with her husband, Dr. Kingston, who can't move or talk because of Parkinson's disease. Shyla, an army medic, is nervous about the flight, while Louise is relaxed with her cat. Niall and Susan carefully clean their seats before sitting down. Forst and Nika, excited travelers who don't speak much English, are also on board. Henry brings a cage of hamsters, and when Ralph tries to help him store it, he gets bitten. The cage is too big for the cabin, so the flight attendants move it to the cargo hold. Preston, a businessman, is sneezing a lot probably feeling the same as Wilsey. As the plane takes off, Jenny has to remind Niall to hang up his phone. When he refuses, Henry steps in, leading to an argument. Jenny calms them down by warning them that they could be arrested if they don't behave. Later, Henry flirts with Jenny, bragging about his PhD and complaining about society's manners. He then hears on the news that the CDC has quarantined an apartment building in Los Angeles. Meanwhile, Ralph, feeling sick and worried about his thumb wound, asks for water. Jenny notices he looks strange, and when she checks on him, he suddenly vomits on her. His mouth foams as he insists on getting off the plane, causing chaos. Louise's cat eats some of the vomit without anyone noticing. Jenny leaves Ralph with Paula to clean up, but Ralph suddenly charges down the aisle, knocking her over. He bangs on the cockpit door, demanding to stop the plane. Wilsey follows protocol and locks the door, while Forrest alerts ground control. Henry tries to restrain Ralph, but is easily overpowered, and so is George. Preston, George, Paula, and Shyla then help Henry to subdue Ralph, eventually knocking him unconscious and tying his wrists with plastic restraints. Shyla checks for injuries while Jenny confides in Paula about feeling inadequate in handling the emergency. Forrest announces they have to land and instructs everyone to return to their seats. The plane hits turbulence during descent and the attendants tell everyone to brace. Ralph's body slides around, bumping his head, so Jenny and Paula struggle to secure him a seat. As Paula fastens the seatbelt, Ralph wakes up with bloodshot eyes and bites her nose, causing serious injury. Ralph goes wild again, and the passengers team up to lock him in the bathroom. After landing, Shyla uses the emergency first aid kit to help Paula and ties a scarf around her face to stop the bleeding. But Paula needs immediate medical attention. Frustrated by ground control's instructions to wait, Forrest decides to break protocol by choosing an unassigned gate. Luckily, Baggage handler Ed sees the plane and opens the gate just in time. Forrest and Wilsey secure the bathroom door while everyone else exits the plane quickly, except for Bev and Kingston, who need help. Ed leads them to the other end of the gate, but the door is locked, and his radio requests go unanswered. They have to follow Ed through an employee entrance to the airport's staging area. The group takes the stairs, but all the other doors are locked, which is strange. Ed checks the power box and confirms they're under lockdown, with security cameras still active. An argument breaks out about what to do next, but is interrupted by sirens. They look out a window and see ambulances and police cars, but the window is covered. A voice announces that the group is quarantined and they must wait for help. The passengers contact their families to explain the situation before confronting Jenny, blaming her for the airline's decisions. Jenny is unsure how to respond, but Shyla interrupts, mentioning that she has a medical kit in her luggage that could help Paula. Jenny, Ed, and a few passengers go to retrieve Shyla's luggage, but the power goes out. Ed guides them with his flashlight, and when they return to the plane, they find Wilsey and Forrest missing. Jenny opens the bathroom and is horrified by the blood everywhere. Preston tries to get his laptop and bumps into Kingston, who is alone since his wife is missing. The group notices chewed through plastic cuffs on the floor, indicating something went wrong. Ed cuts through the carpet to access a hatch to the baggage hold. Jenny gets Shyla's medical kit, while Niall retrieves a gun from his suitcase. Ed is startled by a rodent, but scares it away, thinking it's a rat but Henry believes it is one of his hamsters. Jenny climbs out of the hold and sees Preston's laptop covered in blood. At the end of the corridor, Wilsey is running on all fours, growling and bloody. Suddenly, an infected forest appears and attacks Jenny. The men try to help, but their punches don't work. So Niall shoots Forrest, getting his blood on his face. The group flees the plane, finding Kingston thrown from his wheelchair and Preston unconscious with a bite wound. Jenny finds Bev crying for help, but she transforms and attacks. Jenny outruns her, and the men lock her out. The group returns to the others, and Shyla tends to Paula. Susan cleans the blood off Niall's face, and they kiss. Henry and Ed barricade the door, and Jenny notices blood drops on the floor, worrying about their source. Jenny takes charge, 
telling everyone to shut up and follow her lead since the captain is dead. Shyler explains it's not a known disease, and Jenny remembers the quarantine building on the news. Kingston sees a rat with red eyes nearby, but can't speak. The rat bites him before George knocks it off. The men catch the rat, and Shyler tends to Kingston's wound. The group decides to put George and Paula in a crate, worried they might turn into creatures too. Ed catches the rat with a glove and sees a tag on its leg, showing it escaped from a lab. George accuses Henry of bringing it, saying he saw long tails in the cage before. When Jenny asks Henry, he strongly denies it, arguing that lab rats wouldn't have passed security. As they try to comfort each other, Ralph suddenly attacks Jenny, ignoring Henry's attempts to stop him. The others rush to help when they hear screams and manage to subdue Ralph with a hose. At this moment, Ed gets a radio message saying the CDC has arrived. The group gathers at the door, but instead of letting them out, four officers come in. They hold the group at gunpoint, take the rat and Niles gun, and give injections to Paula and Kingston. The group asks for an explanation, but the officers just say it's protocol. They insist that the others also get injected. Everyone is hesitant, so Louise volunteers first. Before she can be injected, her cat bites her neck and runs away. An officer shoots at the cat but misses. Then, Kingston, now transformed, attacks and bites one of the officers. The other officers shoot Kingston and try to get their injured colleague out, but the door is locked. They shoot it open and escape outside, with Forrest following them. The police open fire, killing everyone except for one officer, who is shot in the leg. At this moment, they hear the roars of the infected people getting closer, so they run to hide inside a container. Susan halts when she notices Niall foaming at the mouth, so the others have to drag her in, as they explain he's infected as well. After securing the container, Shyla pointed out that each injection had a different color, suggesting everyone was given a different substance and not just protocol. Henry reveals that he picked up a gun and forces the officer to confess what he knows. It turns out he isn't with the CDC, but with the CBDT, or Chemical Biological Domestic Terrorism Organization which operates under Homeland Security. One of their units went to that apartment in LA a few hours ago, but nobody came out. In the attic, they found a bioterror laboratory created by a cult. They tried to develop a cure based on a survivor, but it only made it worse, implying this group was going to be the next human trial. After confirming the rats carry the disease, the officer takes the gun from Henry and self-deletes. Nika has a breakdown, while Ed remembers that this terminal often gets flooded because of an old drainage tunnel, meaning they could escape through it if they find it. Suddenly, Wilsey appears in an opening on top of the container and grabs Ed's hand, so Henry tries to shoot him, only to discover he has no bullets. Ed tells George to push a button that lifts the container and crushes Wilsey against a beam. Afterward, the group leaves the container and Ed guides them through the area while Jenny notices Henry is missing. Nika walks at the back and suddenly something drags her away from the others, so the group hurries up the stairs to escape. In secret, Henry is accessing a bag with another gun. As the group runs, Jenny trips and finds Paula, who has transformed too. Jenny has to accept her friend is gone and uses a wrench to fight the creature until she pushes her off the platform, killing her. Then the group makes it to an office, where they look for the terminal blueprints, which show them a way through a wall to find the drainage tunnel. Meanwhile, George reveals he stole Henry's bag, and inside he finds suspicious documents recording lab experiments, not to mention a mysterious box. At that moment, Susan and Niall find them and try to attack, but Henry comes back and shoots them both just in time. Ed notices that Henry is bitten, and George uses the chance to open the box, revealing a bunch of medicine and a syringe. Henry finally admits he did bring the rats, and explains he's part of the cult mentioned by the officer. Their goal is to clean the planet from humans, who keep growing more violent and destructive every day. Henry threatens to kill Jenny if George doesn't hand over the antidote, so Ed jumps on him to stop him, only to get shot dead. The other are now scared and let Henry have the antidote, which he mixes with the blood from his wound and injects in his eye while explaining that his group has followers in various organizations and that's how he got the rats to pass security. Henry is now ready to leave and wants to bring George as a hostage. Jenny tries to stop him, but Henry knocks her down and escapes with the kid and the blueprints. Jenny is extremely dizzy, so Shyla goes out first. Minutes later, Jenny comes out too and is found by an infected Preston. A chase ensues and Preston 
almost grabs her, so Jenny has to kick him off. Then she lures him into a machine and bashes his head with a hatch lid until he's dead. Afterward, she continues to search for George and has to take a different route when she sees a transformed Nika standing nearby. Going into another room, she bumps into Shyla, who has retrieved the officer's thermal goggles. She puts them on Jenny and reveals she's been bitten, so she asks Jenny to go after George while she buys her some time. Shyla goes back to the main room and talks loudly to get the attention of the remaining infected people, who immediately jump on her to kill her. Then Jenny walks through the section between walls, noticing blood drops on the ground thanks to the goggles. She gets scared when she sees some animals, but they're just mice and not lab rats. Following the trail of blood, Jenny stumbles upon the blueprints and Henry's discarded shirt next to a ladder leading into the drainage tunnel. Looking down, she spots George, who informs her that the antidote failed and Henry has also mutated, noticing droplets of blood falling on her goggles. Suddenly, Henry emerges and launches an attack on her, causing her to drop her goggles as he begins to violently toss her around. While Jenny does her best to fend him off, George dons the goggles and seizes the gun, shooting Henry down. Now liberated, Jenny retrieves her goggles and uses a wrench to deliver a final blow to Henry's head. At that moment, massive flames erupt from the hatch, indicating that the teams outside are incinerating the terminal. The exit is unfortunately obstructed, but Jenny discovers a baggage tunnel and forcefully opens the lid. George is too terrified to descend there, so Jenny hands him the goggles and allows him to lead for safety. As they hear the sound of explosions resonating from outside, the duo moves as swiftly as they can. However, Jenny soon starts to fatigue and realizes she's infected. George turns around and notices her vomiting, yet he adamantly refuses to abandon her. Jenny agrees to continue following him for his sake. Eventually, they locate the exit, which is barricaded by bars. George manages to effortlessly walk through them, and when he turns around again, a mutated Jenny reaches through the bars to attack him. Thankfully, she's too large to fit through, and George manages to free himself by removing his jacket. Subsequently, George finally manages to escape from the airport. Meanwhile, Louise's cat also also manages to escape and ventures into the big city, indicating that more people will soon be infected. And with that, the movie ends. I hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen and don't forget to subscribe for amazing videos. See you in the next one.